Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, one of those popular programmes on commercial television last year was Lady Birds, in which the cameras went behind the scenes and gave you a peep into the private lives of well-known pop girl singers. Well, we thought it was time that the pop boy singers had a chance. So here is the BBC's answer to Lady Birds. It's called Laddie Boys. <laughs> My son. <laughs> Cause he's been um, keen on the rhythm music, you know, like ever since he got that electric guitar. Oh, yeah. And um, he got it at the works raffle. He won it? No, he organised it. <laughs> and, um, like then, then he joined this group of singers, you know. Didn't I have some funny names? <laughs> I was, um, there was bush, Bushel Head and, and Knuckles and Four Eyes. <laughs> they were lovely girls, though. <laughs> But they're so proud of uh, my boy now. Round here they are. But at, his la at the, the last school prize giving, they asked him not to go along and, and give back the prizes and uh, oh, take, yeah. you know, charge and, and everything up there. Only um, he had like a kipper for his lunch, and I think it was a bit off because he had like a plane you know, and he, he couldn't go along and um, sort of um... officiate. Yes, it was a kipper he ate. <laughs> I thought it was a fish he ate. Oh, he's a lovely boy. He is really. I mean, you couldn't wish to have a nicer brother than Ernie. <laughs> oh, oh dear. <laughs> you didn't know his name was Ernie, did you? <laughs> well, it is Ernie, yes. Ernie Poultney. Still, I suppose Ernie Poultney's not a very good name for oh, a pop no. singer, is it? But I, of course, retain the name of Poultney, where I work at Nichols Hardware Store. But then, of course, I work a whole year to make the same amount of money as Ernie gets for making one gramophone record. <laughs> Still, that's life, I suppose. Not that I grudge at him at all, because he's a lovely boy, he really is. <laughs> Generous to a fault. <laughs> yes, he's a lovely lad. I mean, he's, he's good to his mother. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's admired and he's respected. And uh, he's decent and he's clean living. I only wish I could say the same about some of those little scrubbers that he knocks about with. <laughs> but I can't. <laughs> Still, that's only a uh, text, I mean. <laughs> Mind, of course, it hasn't been easy for him, you know, because he had a hard life. I mean, he left school at 14 and he was out of work for the next 11 and a half years. Oh, how old did he tell you he was? 19. Did he really? Oh, well, I never. <laughs> oh, 19, eh? Well, that would be, um, yes, five years he was out of work. Well, he couldn't do any heavy work, you see, on account of his back. Oh, what's wrong with it? It's got a yellow streak down it. That's what's wrong with it. <laughs> well, he, he's your, he is your brother, you know. No, Mother, I will speak my mind. I will, I will. I mean, look at the things he's, the tricks he's pulled on me. What about my bicycle pump, then? What about my bicycle pump? Three years I never had my bicycle bump back. And what about Angela and the baby? You don't know about Angela and the baby, do you? Oh, he's a lovely boy. I'll tell you, son, when he was left school, he was out of work for a bit, like, and his mum, she had to keep him by taking him washing. And I'll say one thing for that boy, he wasn't a shame. He wasn't a bit of shame. <laughs> well, he knew, you see, he knew she wasn't strong enough to do heavy work, see. Oh, I wouldn't well, say I mean, that. since he got on, he can't do enough for her. Like, he bought her a wash tub, he bought her and a mango and a scrubbing brush and all that sort of thing, you know. Well, I knew he'd get on because he got it up there, see. I tell you something, we used to be out with a uh, scrap iron on the old horse and cart, you know, and he used to put the blinkers on the horse and get on the cart and he used to say, hey, go on there, go on, Dobbin, go on, Jackie boy, go on, Charlie boy, get up there, Neddy, you know. <laughs> How many horses did he have then? Yeah, only the one, but with the blinkers on him, you see, and hearing all the other names, you know, he thought there was a lot of other horses helping him, so he used to put a bit on, and I knew he'd get on that board. I knew it, knew he'd get on. 